today I'm gonna to be sharing a bunch of my favorite jeans that are perfect for a curvier body type. If you have a curvier body type, you probably know that finding clothes that fit, that are comfortable is near impossible. I feel like stuff can be so structured. A lot of times it's just not comfortable. You're hoisting stuff up. It can fit in the thighs and the butt, but then have a huge gap in the waist. It's a hot mess. So I asked you guys if you wanted to see this video because I found some really, really amazing staples. So I thought you guys would really like this video. I hope you enjoy it. There are a lot of repeats from some of the same brands, but I just feel like once you find something that works for you, you just don't stray away from it. Why be uncomfortable? So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and let's get started. So I've talked about this before, but when I was shopping for my wedding dress last year, they measured me about like a size two to four up top and then a 10 to 12 down on the bottom. Um, I got a big butt. Normally wear between a size four or a six, just depending on the jeans and, de and depending on the fit that I want. Sometimes I want it to be really skin tight and sometimes I want it to be a little bit more relaxed. It just depends. So I'm gonna start with my favorite pair of jeans. I know I should probably save the best for last, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna tell you what the best jeans are for every occasion. These are the best blue jeans ever and they're by the brand Good American. So if you haven't tried Good American yet and you're wearing jeans that are so uncomfortable, stop what you're doing and check them out. I will say all of these jeans are overpriced in my opinion, but now I just don't really buy anything else. I don't really go jean shopping because I don't need to. I've got all of my staples. Um, unless one of these brands comes out with something really cool and unique and different, then yeah. But other than that, I'm set. <laughs> or unless I like lose a lot of weight or gain a lot of weight, like I just, I'm set. So these ones I got in the Nordstrom sale last year, I got them in a size four. And these are the Good Legs jeans. And these are just like a true dark blue jean. The bottoms look like this. Now I've also mentioned before, I am five foot two. So all of my jeans for the most part, I have to roll under like this but I should just go and get them um, taken in so I can still get like a normal jean hem, you know? But these, I swear, they make your butt look so good. They make you just wanna slap that ass. Just look how cute. Look how cute. This makes my butt look so good. They're very high-waisted. They pinch at my waist because if I have a pair of jeans that fit me and they're more structured, they don't really have a lot of give, then they end up fitting in my butt and my thighs and then I've got this huge gap. I swear, it can be like this big up in my back and that's so annoying. If you ever try to like tuck in shirts, it just slips right out. These don't do that. These pinch at the waist without like being too tight or too structured. They have just enough give. I've also had it where I get stretchy jeans because I need the stretch and then they just fall. You know what I mean? Have you ever had that where you buy a, a stretch jean and they just keep falling, you have to hoist them up? These don't do that, they're perfect. If I had to pick one jean out of all of the ones I'm gonna show you, it would be these and it would be this color too because I feel like this color goes with so many things. You could wear this somewhere fancy and dress it up with like a blazer and heels. You could wear this with sneakers. You could wear this with flip flops, whatever. So these for sure 100% are my favorite jeans by far. And now you don't have to watch the rest of the video. So I'm gonna share my other favorites from Good American. These are the Good Legs Crop. So these are a lighter wash, but again, like a really good blue jean. And then they have the distressing in the knee, but looks like this, again, it's the same fit. It's just a little bit um, shorter in length, which I appreciate. I didn't even realize, honestly, that it was the same style until I just read them here, but that's why I like them so much, obviously. Um, but this just shows you a different kind of finish to them, a different wash, all of that. These ones are a lot different. These ones I got in a size six and these are the good vintage jeans. These are still really tight on me. They're definitely a more structured denim, so these are a lot different in the way they feel and wear and everything than the first two that I showed you. They have this very unique, the front buttons like this, the butt still is really cute. I think that's like one of the best things about Good American is that the butt placement, the pocket placement on the butt is just phenomenal. I wouldn't say that these are necessarily baggy. On the model though, <laughs> It is a lot looser on the model, so maybe it is just because I have a curvier body type that this does fit tight around my butt and my upper thighs. But then the bottom is just like this straight, um, I wouldn't even say flare, I would just say pretty straight so you can see the bottom in comparison to 
this other good American parrot is bigger and more of that like flare at the bottom. So these are really cute. I think anything tucked into these would be adorable. Um, again, keep in mind the sizing. You might have to size up depending on how you want it to fit. I'm glad I sized up because I could barely even button the fours in these. And then now that I have the sixes, they're still kind of tight around my waist. So, but love these again, those were the good vintage. And then the last pair I have from Good American that I want to show you, I actually haven't worn these yet. Um, but these are the good flares and I got these in a size four. This is the similar um, feeling as the first two. It's got that stretch. It's that softer feel. And these are the butt pockets again, just that good butt. And then she really needs, does she have one named the good butt? Because I feel like all of them have the good butt. This has the tear here and the bottom is so cute. I have to get these taken in. This is why I haven't worn them yet, but it's this flare like a bell bottom and it has this seam here on the side. So I'm gonna show you this in comparison to the last pair. So you can see that this is still even more flared than this one that I showed you, but it's just so flattering. I feel like it flaring at the bottom kind of just like balances the top and it's just, you know what I mean? So cute. I really need to go and get these taken in on the bottom so that I can wear them with boots and stuff. I just think it's so cute with some stilettos and a blazer. Oh my gosh, such a cute outfit um, and they fit so comfortably. There's so much stretch to them that it just kind of goes right over the hips and thighs and then snatches in at the waist. They're perfect. Okay, so those are everything from Good American. Next, I'm going to show you these from a Goldie. The ones I wear the most from them are these ones. They are the, I think they're called like the 90s loose fit. And I got these in a size 27 and these are huge. They're very baggy, very loose. They have all these buttons right here. They do have these now in a regular jean without all of the rips and tears and stuff. I actually just ordered those because I love them so much and I wanna wear them for the winter season because these are mainly, I wear them in like the spring and summer, but these ones have these huge rips here and then the bottom, This they actually remind me a lot of the good vintage jeans from Good American look like this. I usually will roll them under and wear them with like heels or something. So it looks like this. Um, but these are just so flattering. They come up to like my mid waist. They're extremely high rise. Um, the butt isn't as flattering on these as it is on all of the good American jeans. Those ones are just so unique, I feel. Still so cute. I think this looks great with body suits, um, tight shirts tucked in, just really, really cute. And then the other pair I have to show you here from a Goldie are the crisscross ones. And I've actually only worn these like in pictures for Instagram. I haven't worn them out yet, so I still have the tag on the back. But these are also in a size 27. They're a little bit tighter in the waist than the last pair that I showed you, but still oversized. This is so cool. I just, I love these. And I know that there's a few brands that now have this crisscross going on, but I find that their sizing is weird. Like, I think it's misguided that has them and they come in like small, medium, large. I can't, I can't buy jeans in small, medium, large. I need the exact measurements because something tells me that just wouldn't work for me. But anyways, it's got the crisscross here on the top. This is what the butt looks like. And then these are also very loose all the way down and the bottom looks like this. I just think these are very unique, very cute. I just love the looser fit. And then the last ones from a Goldie are the Sophia ankle jean. They look like this. I do have these in a size four as well. Um, these I would say are pretty true to size. They are a tighter fit than the other two from a Goldie. So I would stay true to size or size up if you want a more comfortable fit. Um, the butt looks like this. It's kind of like a charcoal -y type of black. And then my favorite part about these is that I think these are the Sophia crop. They fit me perfectly. I'm five foot two, so these ones I do not have to roll up, and this is the bottom of them. I think they're so, so cool. I think that is just so unique. I haven't had any other jeans that look that distressed there on the bottom, and these are a pair that I love dressing up and dressing down, and they're just, they're really cute. And then last but not least, these are the newest to my collection. These are the Denim Forum Yoko High Rise Slim. I did size up and got a size 28 in these, which is a size six. They do have these, um, I should have buttoned all of them so you could see, but it has all of the buttons up the front. These are very high-waisted. They kind of remind me a lot of the A. Goldie 90s fit jean. 
Um, and then these are the back. They fit very comfortably. They're nice and tight around the butt. And then they're very straight. They're not like super tight at the bottom. Um, the bottom does look like this. And I do need to get these taken in because I have to take off a bunch off the bottom for it to fit me right at the ankle where I like it. These are so comfortable. I'm glad I sized up because they're just, very, there's a lot of room in there to move. And I think they're really cute. I really like this shade of black. It's very similar to the last ones I showed you, the last black pair, where it's kind of like a lighter black. So it's not deep, dark pitch black. It's kind of charcoal-y and worn looking. But again, you could dress them up or dress them down. If you've ever picked up any of these denim forum jeans, let me know because I wanna try out more styles. I should just go into Aritzia and try them on, but very cute, very comfortable. And with all of the jeans I just showed you today, you do not get that back gap. It is amazing and I feel like that for me is like one of the most biggest deciding factors because I feel like most jeans I try on give me that gap. So many people recommend Le Levi's to me. Let me tell you, Levi's do not work for me. I got too much of a ratio going on between my waist and my butt for Levi's to work. Anytime I get my size in Levi's, I get a back gap and it flattens out my butt. There's not enough room in there for my juicy booty, okay? So um, yeah, Levi's are a no-go, but that's everything. That is all, all of the jeans that I cannot live without. Let me know if I picked out any of your favorites that you can't live without. Let me know if I'm missing out on a pair that I need to try, ones that aren't gonna give me that gap, ones that are movable, comfortable, not restricting, also, if you're shorter like me too, let me know which ones are good for that too. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.